What's up Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video I want to talk about something that players really struggle with a lot in Trials of Osiris and that is uh, movement around the map as a team coordinating your assault, collapsing on opponents, just generally knowing how to position yourself in the most strategic manner. Uh, in Trials of Osiris. You know, do you all just run together? Do we split up? How do we do this? A lot of players struggle with uh, kind of coordinating that in a way that makes sense. So I'm going to show you in this video several clips from uh, myself, KJ Hovey, and the Manigator, some really, really excellent players, players who know about positioning, players who know about working as a team. They're not greedy for kills. They just do what is best for the team instinctively. So you'll notice right off the bat at the beginning of the round, I go to the right. Hovey's coming up here on the left because he's going to check the uh, the inside and he's going to check that main lane. And Ho or uh, Manigator's going to go one, down one the middle. Now Manny one. gets a snipe down the middle. At this point, I know it's my time to push from the right, keep him confused. I go Dead ahead and shot. take out the second guy. <laughs> Third guy doesn't have time to react because one of his teammates is calling out to his left. One's call calling out in center. Manny goes ahead and takes care of the uh, the confused guy, makes for a pretty easy cleanup kill because the three of us are collapsing simultaneously. So in that instance, it was about kind of spreading out, managing the different sight lines, um, kind of each of us owning a part of the map and pushing collectively. As soon as that first kill goes down, then we collapse before they have time to figure out what happened and figure out where oh, to go from me. there. So here's an instance where Hovi and Mana are managing this little opening in the wall, this hole in the wall, and they say they've got uh, several opponents in there. So I don't want to just join them in this hole because you don't want your whole team to be in the same choke point. That's a really bad situation. It's a good way to get triple killed by various AoEs or solid snipers, whatever it may be. So instead of joining them in the hole, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to step up. I'm going to toss this grenade, and what this grenade is going to do is it's going to create some space to move. So I'm just going to wrap around from a different vantage point. And now as Manny primes this guy that's in the corner, before Manny can, uh, can get finished off here, what he does is he primes the guy, takes out his shields, and then drops back for cover, knows I'm right behind him. So he drops back for cover, and it's easy for me to finish off the guy because he's going to want to finish off his kill. You know, he's got a guy primed, so if Manny drops back for cover, the guy's probably going to step out. That's what he does, and it makes it easy for me. All I have to do is hit a body shot. And that's what the guys tell me, you know. If there's someone's primed, you want to make sure that you tell your teammates. That way, for a sniper, it means, okay, well, I'm not going to go for a headshot if I don't need to. All I need to do is just hit center mass, and it'll drop the guy. And then we can just push on the last guy. We move in on the orbs, get aggressive on the orbs. I don't want to give them the opportunity to recover. Here's a round where we start with that same formation in that opening clip I showed you. Um, and Hovey gets a kill on the left side. So here I step out to challenge this guy. He hits me with a body shot. I know there's there's honestly no point challenging that guy. He's coming from a position of power now. He's hard scoped there. He's waiting for me to yeah. peek. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to change positions on the map. I'm going to rotate around with Hovey. And uh, right we're going to come around right and control the orb of the guy that he's already got down. There's no point in me pushing a guy who has a position of power uh, by myself and run the risk of... Uh, of me going down and my teammates having I to do the rest of this without me. So as we rotated around the opposite side of the map, finished off the kill, we thought the round was done, but yeah, Hovey calls out for the self-res, and uh, my first instinct is orb control. So I just want to take out it, um, it, this, this guy back here that he's got the opportunity to revive. I know the final orb, the, the guy is uh, way in the back of the map near our spawn, so I'm not too concerned about him getting back for the other revive. Now we can just collapse on him when his... Uh, Radiance runs out and it makes for an easy cleanup. So I want you to hear the communication on this round. So I'm going to replay the full thing without any freeze frames or slow mos, and you can just hear the call outs. That one again. Okay, I'm pushing up on the orb. Yeah, Guy coming up right next to me. He's right next to me. Vanny, I'm pushing in with you. With my pulse. KK, one back right. Got him. Dude, he's really close to me. Last guy on me. Come on, come on, man. Stay back there, Manny. I win. Nice, dude. Nice. We got for the up, right? Oh, crap, 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 crap. I'm gonna play the orb. It's one of, yeah, one of you guys. Oh, Sunsinger's one shot. I'm going for the revive. Dang it, I missed. Dang it, I missed. He's down. We still have the body back. He's coming right? your way. Hobie. Oh, I, I think he went up tube. Oh, my God. I missed he's my out. Name. He's out of radiance. 
Oh, what? dude, I, I I cannot play right now. Good stuff. Like I just. So this here was a fun round. Uh, Manny starts out on the right, checking the this uh, right alleyway there. here. He calls out that there's a guy. My goal here isn't to kill him. My goal is to prime him. I'm, I know he's right around the corner, so I'm going to drop a, an arc bolt grenade to he's prime him down, for Manny. Down. But Manny uh, gets out and gets a nice body shot on him with a sniper him rifle. Makes him one shot, so the guy didn't have any time to react. So that was just well-coordinated, well-timed teamwork. Both of us were thinking team-oriented and uh, just trying to get some yeah, damage in on this up. guy as we collapse on him. But we, we did our damage simultaneously and uh, got the kill. I see these bullets coming down from on top of the cart. You just have to be mindful where, where these... Me from? Sometimes there's these oh. places on the map that people like to go to. They're kind of obscure. They don't go there often, but when they do, they can really uh, confuse you. And that's one of those places on Exodus Blue where people sometimes go. It's up on top of that train car, and you just have to be able to react to it and know that sometimes that's just, that's just oh, a good vantage up. point that people like to use it. to see back into that alleyway without peeking their head uh, right in that choke point. Oh, so what happens up. here is we hear this guy pop his golden gun, the last guy. So Manny and I, I go ahead and pop my super. I wait for him to start peeking around the corner, and then I ionic blink around after him. Try and force this guy to, to choose who he's going to take on. And uh, we managed to make it happen. It actually worked out pretty well. So that was kind of a fun play that we made as a <laughs> I team. I distracted him. I distracted him. <laughs> so this last clip here shows uh, some more good teamwork. Manny decides to come up through the tube, and he starts working on this guy in front of him. Now this guy's got uh, his aggro is all on Manny. He's all about trying to kill Manny right now. He's not even thinking about me. Didn't even see me moving around to the right until it was too late. So you, that's what you really want to do. You want to manage the opponent's aggro. Here, I get a body shot on this guy. I call it out to Hovey, and I drop back for cover. Hovey uh, just comes scooting in from the air, makes her an easy cleanup kill for him. And uh, then he calls out that the last guy is primed, and then we all just kind of move around and collapse on him. And uh, actually, we we kind of moved poorly there. Both Hovey and I came around to the outside to flank him, and because um, <laughs> we didn't communicate who was going to stay on the orb and who was going to collapse on him. So... But uh, any, anyways, it, it still worked. And that was just a good example of juggling aggro. And, um, you know, it's just not all, it's not all about being a showboat. It's not all about getting the kill. Uh, just take the body shot when you can. Back off if you took damage. Don't try and clean up your kills if it's going to really put you in danger. And uh, just communicate to your teammates that there's an, an opponent that's primed. And that's going to give them a cue as to when they need to push and get aggressive uh, to help you out. So guys, I hope that these tips have been helpful for you. Hopefully when you get into Trials of Osiris for next week, or even today, uh, then maybe you'll have a little bit more of an inkling as to how you can operate as a team. Make sure that you aren't getting fixated on kills. That's one of the things that gets people ruined in Trials of Osiris the most. Is And we see this all the time where people get fixated on their kills and they'll push us, and they're just not expecting um, good teammates and good coordination on our part. And so they'll get one of us primed and then push in as hard and fast as they possibly can. But uh, they'll be lured right, like this guy, lured right into Manigator who slides in and Hovey from behind to finish him off. So hopefully that helps. And uh, hopefully, guys, you get some more wins in the Trials of Osiris. And we'll catch you in the Crucible.